are going on a hiking adventure. This could be a great idea because we have blue skies or it could be an awful idea because it's only two degrees outside and we don't have wood for clothes. Hey, come on, we're from Canada. We've like we've been outside in like minus 20, minus 30 weather before, even minus 40 in Quebec City. So I think we'll be just fine. It's a little chilly to start off. But we're exploring a part of Seoul we've never been to before. We've never really been to the north of Seoul, and we've never done a serious hike in Seoul. Mm -hmm. So we're really excited to be going off the Bukhansan Mountain today, and we're going to reach it by a metro right now. And our metro's here, so let's run. Alright, so we are transferring from line number two, the green line, to line number one, the blue line, and that's going to take us to our final stop. So let's do this. <laughs> Alright, so we have arrived at the station. This is Dobong San. And we're actually doing the shortest loop we can find. <laughs> I think it's supposed to take an hour yeah. and a half. So we had to travel pretty far north to do less walking. There's, yeah, there's a number of <laughs> there's a number of different routes, and we're starting off with one of what's considered to be the easier hikes. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes, and if it goes well, then maybe we'll try another more challenging one in the spring. Or maybe not. <laughs> so what do we have to do before we can hike up the mountain? Um, we're gonna get me some pancakes because I'm already grumpy and cold and dreading this, so I need food to make. Me and what happy. are those pancakes called? We'll talk. We'll talk. And All they're right. filled with honey and cinnamon and they're gonna be good. So give me some money. Give me some money. My pancake. Ah, all is well in the world. Here's your wallet. Thanks for paying. Can you take a bite? Mm, that's good. I'm good to go. This is the biggest leaf I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> it's like bigger than my face. This is three times my face. Go hide again. Where did she go? Where did she go? Either I shrunk or this guy is really big. Not sure. So if you've come totally unprepared and you don't have walking sticks, hiking shoes, or any of the right clothing, they have a whole bunch of shops right at the entrance of the national park so you can do some last minute shopping we should probably be doing it but i think we're just gonna wing it and go with like jeans and canvas slippers and we'll see how it goes sam looks like father christmas back in the 70s all dressed in why red. is that audrey because of your glasses i'm gonna throw those in the garbage no, one day these are, these are classic glasses this is like part of my identity here <laughs> anyways we're just about to go up uh, Bukhansa national park and what's fascinating about this park here is that it's 78 kilometers in wide wide and there's a number of different hiking paths actually if you look over here you can Lots see, to choose you can see all the different paths and it shows you the kilometers and the, the distance it should take in terms of hours, how much yeah. time it should take. And so, yeah, there's a lot to choose from. We're doing an easy route today. Yes, and what does Bukhansan mean? It means the mountain north of the Han River. Ah, there we go. All right, let's get started. Let's do this. So one thing that has really surprised me is that this is a fully paved path. We're not walking on dirt trails. I was not expecting that. All right, so change of plans again. Yeah. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Last time, I swear. <laughs> so we were thinking of doing this one, the Jiaun Bong. But it turns out it's yeah. intermediate advanced with and expert portions. Originally, we were going to do We Am anyways. So we found where we wanted to go and uh -huh. that's the way we're going. And we noticed most people are going that way. So it must be popular for a reason. Alrighty. And it's a bit further than we thought. It's 2.6 kilometers. 
when we thought it was a lot closer. So we'll still be getting our exercise. Yeah, we're gonna earn our lunch today. Update from the hike. So something we didn't necessarily anticipate is how many cool Buddhist temples we'd be passing by. And already it's been a lot and we've just started our hike so we're hoping to see some more. And there's also lots of little rest stops where people are just hanging out, yeah. enjoying a drink, the or sitting by the river. Yeah, the trail is really well developed and there's been a lot of thought put into it, especially yeah. with consideration to the hikers and their needs. So time for another update. I think we're getting a little closer to the peak of our hike as we're starting to get some really nice views of the other side of the mountain. So we only have 200 more meters to go, but these are likely going to be the steepest. Let's get at it. Also seeing a lot of mountain kitties nearby temples and also just on random sections of the trail. So what do you think? We're almost there. Oh man, we've been crawling like on our hands and knees to get up here. Like that last stretch was really rough. Yeah. But the views, spectacular. The views are wow. the views are insane up here, and yes. it it has been an easy climb for the most part. Just the last mm. little section. I won't even describe it as difficult. Just a little more challenging. Yes. Onwards. Well, well, look who made it to the top. We made it. That Woo. was that was quite the hike. Yes. Yeah. It uh, it started off like 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 ridiculously. Yeah, easy. super easy with like paved paths, yeah. and then by the end of it, we were like scrambling over rocks. Scrambling <laughs> over rocks, <laughs> using the cord to help pull us up. Yeah. So we earned it at the end. So I think that deserves a high five. Woo! Woo! And now it's back down. What are you doing? I'm sliding because I don't have proper shoes. Because someone is wearing my shoes. <laughs> so we finished the hike. Now we're down at ground level and we're starving. So we're going for the quintessential the Korean meal that you always have when you hike, which is hajan, hamul hajan, the seafood Korean pancake. So we're just waiting for that to be prepared. We also ordered sundu bujjigae, one of our favorite jjigae. So we're gonna warm up, have some really nice hearty food. Oh, and we also ordered makgeolli too, which is the traditional Korean uh, alcohol. So we've got some good things coming our way. Makgeolli has never tasted so good. And now it is time for the main event. Yeah, the moment we've been waiting for, the hamul pajan is here. Take a look at it. Now this is some of the thickest hummel pajan I've ever seen. It looks awesome. It looks like they've cooked it really well, nice and crispy. So I'm just going to dunk it into the sauce here and try it. Ooh, getting messy over there. Oh man. That is the real deal. Hummel pajan done well. It's cooked really crispy. And they did a great job of that. Lots of ingredients. I'm tasting the, the chew dip here. Tasting the paw, which is the green onion. And I'm also tasting a lot of the hamul, which is the seafood, so it's great. And for dessert, we're going in for? We had to get a little more food for the road, so we got one more hotak. And this one's a lot different from the one I had in the morning. This one is actually fried. The other one looked a bit healthier. This one's like fatter. <laughs> this is the real deal. The, the real, real greasy deal. deal. Yes. So it try has it. pine nuts. Try it for us. Mm. So what do you think? Mm. Mm. I'm tasting like Christmas. It's Christmas. So it's Christmas in a cup here in, in Seoul, Korea. Well, that's that. We completed the hike. We ate, bellies full. We're feeling okay, happy. Okay, before we go on, I have to just like 
just wax on about how good that Hamul Pajam was. That was, that was like, good food. That might have been in one of the top three I've ever had, and I've had that ever. In, ever. I've ever. had that. And I've had that so many times at so many different restaurants. They nailed that. Mm -hmm. Like it was so good. That was good. Thoughts on the hike? Thoughts on the hike? I thought it was a great hike. Um, I can see why they would label it as a beginner's hike in terms of the actual path. It's not difficult. It's, I would say- Except actually at the end, we ended up going yeah. the wrong way. That's why we were sliding down on our butts. We, we got off the trail, that's what happened. Yeah, we kind of we kind of went rogue for a bit. Yeah. But in terms of the hike, what would you say like a return trip? It's about a three hour journey? It took us three hours. It took us about yeah. three hours. We stopped to take photos. We did a lot of video. We did a lot of other things. So yeah. yeah, I mean, you could probably do it a little bit faster than us, but it's more, I would say it's more like a full day trip because yeah. when you're coming in from, let's say anywhere in the downtown area of Seoul, it's going to take you probably about an hour to get here, Each an hour way. to get back. And then you factor in a three hour hike. And then if you're going to have a meal like what we did, then you're, you're looking at more of a full day outing. And one more, one more thing I want to mention too is I'm really impressed by the, I don't, I want, I don't want to call them the elderly population. I think the mature Koreans who were hiking, there were some people who were owning that trail. They were passing us. They were really fit. They had their like hiking gear on, and I was very impressed by that. So, yeah, yeah. Okay, more videos from Korea soon. Every Monday. Bye.